G'day cheeky dogs, today we're going to talk about whether Bluey is a boy or a girl. Yes, I realise that this seems like an absolutely ridiculous question. However, it is the most commonly asked question about Bluey on Google. So I thought that we may as well just talk about it and why people are always wondering if she's a boy or a girl. Yeah, that's Oh yeah, because he's blue. And yeah, if you notice, I did just say she. Bluey is a girl. Her and Bingo are both girls. And the whole story of Bluey is based after the creator, Joe Brum, and his life with his two daughters. Unicorse is a real thing. His daughter's calling Statue World, the graveyard, like that. that's all a real thing. That's why they're both girls. But let's talk about why Bluey is constantly misgendered and some of the reasons for it. Now, the first one, of course, is the fact that Bandit is blue and Chili is, well, she's orange, but she's a red healer. And of course, Chili and Bingo both look the same, but Bandit and Bluey both look the same as well. And of course, cattle dogs in general can present as blue or red or a mix of both, which is what we see as Uncle Rad. They're just different colors all within the same breed. But of course, the fact that Bluey looks like her dad, people automatically think, oh, well, she's the boy of the family and Bingo is, of course, the girl of the family taking after her mom. Which, of course, then leads on to the second reason, which is the fact that blue is stereotypically the color for boys, as well as the fact that the name Bluey is typically used for male dogs as well in Australia. So, of course, with that indication, well, love blue equals boy, Bluey equals boy, then, of course, our little girl Hilo then apparently means that Bluey is a boy as well. Don't worry, Bluey. The king's the most important piece on the board. Oh, is that right? Yes. The third thing is the fact that there's no traditional gender markers on Bluey or on Bingo as well for that matter. So for example, in Rugrats with the twins, Lil and Phil, they had specific gender markers on them to signify if they were a boy or girl. Lil had a little pink bow. Phil had blue boots, Lil had pink boots. Phil had like little blue pants underneath his like pink and green top. Whereas Lil, her pink and green top was actually a little dress and you could see her diaper underneath it. They had like specific markers to identify them as male or female. But of course, we don't see that in Bluey. They don't wear clothes. They don't wear shoes. Oh, show Aunt Chili your thongs, Muffin. Aunt Chili, I'm wearing thongs. I mean, they have clothes and shoes, but they don't ever wear it. Yeah, that's my shirt! Yeah, it blows my mind. I did a whole theory video about that. I'll leave that linked up here. But even though they have clothes and shoes, they just don't wear it. So we can't use those as actual gender markers for them. Of course, then there are other gender markers like blows and ribbons, as well as eyelashes as well. And we see like colored hairbands, of course, with Indy. So that sort of lets us know that she's a girl. But as for like the bows or ribbons, Coco's the only one who has them. And she's the only little girl that has eyelashes as well. Let's play wild girls, Indy. Okay, I'll get the broom. But of course, Bluey and Bingo have none of these. So again, harder to make their gender more identifiable. So then there's also another way of doing it and that's through the toys that they play with. Speaking of games, if you already play games on your phone, then why not earn gift cards to Amazon, PlayStation, Sephora while you're doing it? And you can do that with the help of today's sponsor, Misplay. Misplay is a loyalty app for us gamers. Misplay lets you earn points through discovering and playing all of the different games and their huge catalogue of games. The more you play, the more points you earn that you can use towards redeeming gift cards. There are gift cards for Amazon, Target, eBay, PlayStation, Google Play, Sephora, H&M, the list literally goes on. The types of games you can play range from puzzle games to word games to adventure or strategy and my favorite is of course card games because I just like to kind of switch off when I'm playing it and that's what I do when I play solitaire. Literally by playing two games on solitaire I already receive points that I could put towards gift cards. Specifically I like the ones for Amazon because that helps me get more bluey stuff for me and my kids to enjoy. So if you sign up with Misplay today you can earn 200 bonus points plus an extra 50 bonus points as well by using my code margie50 or by going to their website misplay.com forward slash margie. You can also click the link down below in the description box or in the pinned comment to go there as well and download misplay for free. Okay back to the video. And again gender stereotypes usually go with like trucks and dinosaurs and trains are boys and dolls and all that are girls but we don't see them playing with any dolls at all through the first basically eight episodes. It's not really until episode 9 when we meet like Muffin and Socks and they have a bigger game to play with them. Is that gonna be fun? Yeah, I think so. Ah, oh, good Polly Puppy. They're here! That they play the more stereotypical girl games, which is like, who 
horsey wedding and having a wedding and everything like that. But of course, even within that episode, we see them breaking the idea of gender stereotypes with both dads being the ones of like the bride and groom getting married together and them playing this more like stereotypical girly game rather than watching the cricket. All right, girls, who wants to sit on the couch and watch cricket? No! no! So again, we can't really use dolls as like a gender stereotype or uh, an identifier for Bluey and Bingo at all, especially in those first few episodes. Which then of course leaves the last thing, which is the voice actors. Now in the English version, they use actual children as the voice actors for all the children in the show. It's something that Joe Brum really wanted to do to make it sound more authentic. And so yeah, when children are that little, especially how they sound in season one, it's pretty hard to tell if they're a boy or a girl. They're a little bit more gender neutral. However, in a lot of the dubbing ones, from what people have said, the German one, Bluey, sounds a lot more like a boy. Whereas in the Japanese one, she sounds a lot more like a girl. And a lot of the time, that's because it's adults who are doing the voiceovers for these children. Of course, they're going to sound more stereotypically male or female based on their voices. <laughs> Now, of course, in season two, we got a whole joke about Bluey being a boy or a girl in the episode Double Babysitter, which I definitely feel was like a joke to audiences who had constantly gotten it wrong. And it's just so funny that they did this joke with Uncle Rad and they put it in the show. And I think it's great. Yeah, that's Bluey. Oh, yeah, because he's blue. I'm a girl. Oh, yeah, yeah, I knew that. And then, of course, in 2022, when Bluey finally made it to the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, we had a huge, beautiful balloon for her. It's just such a big signifier that Bluey has become such a massive international show as well. CBS consistently called Bluey a boy. So that guy, you can be this Blue guy. Dog. Who is he? Right behind us. Right now. Saying he, his, that guy, this guy's family, Bluey's family, he's a family. Like, it was just so frustrating because they read like a blurb about what Bluey was about, but said his family, like the whole time. I was like, the blurb says that they're two sisters, that she's a girl. Like, how did you get this so wrong? And I remember seeing it like all over my Facebook feed of people really being like, I can't believe CBS just consistently doubled down on Bluey being a boy. Whereas like, I think it was like NBC, they got it right. And they said that she was a girl. He is, they're really His tail looks like him. a fist. <laughs> It'll That's get creepy. you. It'll get you. I like that Bluey though. He's good. But of course, like Bluey being a girl is one of the reasons that I think Bluey is amazing. One of the reasons we love Bluey as well, because it really does try to challenge those gender stereotypes and gender identifying markers as well. They do it both through the kids and through the adults too. I think they really show that any game or any toy can be used by boys or girls. That you could be any color and still be a boy or girl, or that you can like any colors and still be a boy or girl. And also the fact that parents, whether they're the mum or the dad, that they can play any type of game with their kids as well, like horsey wedding or like pretending to be pregnant and give birth as well. I didn't know this was the something. Hard enough, Pat. But I don't know how to deliver a baby. I thought you grew up in a farm. We grew sorghum. So for me, it's just one of the many reasons that I love Bluey and I love that they just try to put out a more like gender neutral idea of how to parent and how to play as a child. And I think that's pretty cool. But yes, Bluey, Bluey is a girl. Anyway, let me know in that comment section down below. When you first started watching Bluey, did you think that she was a boy or a girl? And same with Mackenzie. I already did a whole video about that as well. And I'll leave a link up here. But yeah, did you think Mackenzie was a boy or a girl? What do you think about Bluey being a girl versus being a boy? Do you think it would have made the show different if she was a boy. All your thoughts and feelings, let me know in that comment section down below. And while you're there, don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell for notifications so you know whenever I release any other Bluey videos. But until then, cheeky dogs, I've picked you out a few other videos that maybe you would like to watch, and I'll see you all in another video. Mwah! Bye!